This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 1196 of Horse Tip Daily, your almost everyday morsel of helpful hints, useful facts, and practical techniques for horse folks. Brought to you today by Uncle Jimmy's. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today's tip is an excerpt from the Driving Radio Show. Dr. Wendy Ying and Glenn the Keek take a look at changes for autumn, things that you need to do and things that you need to be aware of to help you and your horses transition through the seasons happy and healthy. Uncle Jimmy's Hanging Balls and Licky Things help combat stall boredom by providing your horse entertainment in the stall while at the same time providing them with much-needed minerals and nutrients not found in other treats. Uncle Jimmy's has training treats covered, too, with Uncle Jimmy's Squeezy Buns. Every deliciously soft, squishy treat is individually wrapped for freshness, so your pockets won't get gummed up. Ask for Uncle Jimmy's Hanging Balls, Licky Things, and Squeezy Buns at your local tack and feed supplier, or you can go online to uncle-jimmies.com. I'm here to talk about something that you and I both can uh, associate with. And this Being is about, whiny, sick people? Yeah, whiny, mm. sick people. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as most people know, Chinese medicine is based on the seasons. So we do different things uh, to... Like season, when you transition through the seasons, like why do people get sick certain times of the year, right? So right now we're coming to fall. And fall changes from the hot summer heat to cool and dryness. And um, also the meridians associated with the fall is the, um, the metal element, which is the lung and the large intestine. So, uh, one of the things like that you're experiencing right now is what? A cold. Co- cough. Cold. cold and cough. Yep. Right? Yep. I'm having like, uh, my nose gets so stuffy. I'm having tons of allergies. Uh, some of the things you might also see, especially in horses, are colic, constipation, because uh, the metal element not only is the lung, but it's also the large intestine. Um, and you know, this is like, I always say, Chinese medicine is a way to explain, um, the world around you. So one of the ways we can explain the world around us in this instance is like people move around a lot. It's the end of the season for the summer showers, like the Western and the show hunters and blah, blah, blah. So their chi is down. Everybody's like susceptible to colds. For you and I, we are totally naive to baby colds. I like to call it baby shipping fever, right? <laughs> so these people put their kids back into, into nursery school and they're like, you know, fomites for carrying this horrible flu around. And people like you and I that have no kids get really sick because we just don't have the antibodies to that. Also, you're used to coming from like, Okay, sweaty, hot weather where you're drinking, you make sure you drink enough fluids, you have Gatorade, blah, blah, blah. Now it doesn't feel so hot, so you're not drinking as much, so you get a little bit more dehydrated. The horses feel like that too. And dogs, you know, um, they stop taking in as much liquids and they can get impactions. So uh, one of the things also with... um, The metal element, uh, I've talked about the metal element before, but let me just remind you. So the metal element is like organized, right? Likes this little box. Uh, It's kind of aloof. Like Beaker is totally metal. And Jen. Jen and Beaker are totally metal. So, um, you know, the summer is kind of time for fun and, you know, letting off some steam. And the the fall is time to like... um, you know, get yourself rejuvenated, start planning for winter. This is time when the metal really organizes, like the ants. You know that story about the ants and the grasshopper? Yes, yep. Okay, you and I are the grasshopper. (laughs) (laughs) Jen and Beaker are the ants. So so the metal now needs time. You have to help the metal nourish your body. You have to, um, you know, make sure you... uh, 
support your immune system. So what drinking. practical things we, can we do? You need to drink plenty of fluids. Alcohol count or not really, huh? Not really. No, okay. Which is downfall for me. <laughs> but you, you need to, um, like you need to get on a better routine now, right? You need to get more sleep. You need to um, uh, support your immune system with more uh, foods high in vitamin C, like citrus fruits, because citrus fruits will really help you ward off um, colds. Because people are traveling around, like kids are going to college, people are moving everywhere. Um, it's now time, instead of having a lot of raw foods like salads and things, it's now time to have more soups and more cooked foods because that's easier to digest and also brings moisture into your large intestine. The same thing can be said for the horses. The grass starts to get dry. Like right now, look at my grass. I, I, my horses are out in a swamp right now, right? So over the next month, it's going to start to dry up and and... They're going to start to get drier foods. So it's a good idea for someone like me to start doing mashes for them and things with um, like more flaxseed meal that, that, that also moistens the gut. Uh, yam is also a good thing to add to the diet, like cooked yam because it helps your chi and also nourishes your yin. For the horses? For horses and people. Huh. Or pumpkin. Like cooked pumpkin is actually very good for horses, people, and dogs and cats. I didn't know that. And even cats will eat pumpkin. Even beasts would eat pumpkin. Huh. And pumpkin is really good, um, especially for cats when they have uh, constipation or, uh, you know, uh, hairballs. They're trying to pass hairballs. Right. So you could do pumpkin, some cooked pumpkin and some um, coconut oil or some flax oil. So we should make pumpkin pies for our pets? You should make pumpkin pies. And one of the things that you should really do, um, you know, like eat for the season. So one of the things that's really popular in the fall season, I mean, nowadays we have all kinds of vegetables, right? Uh, all year round. Like you can get pears all year round. But it, traditionally pears were like a, a fall food, pears and apples. So pears are really a great thing right now because the pears are one of the most powerful foods to help nourish your lungs. They break up phlegm. And they relieve coughing, but they also help your bowel because they have lots of fiber and they're very moist. So you can have uncooked pears that really help with your, your lungs. Or you could have like some steam pears or like some kind of cooked pears. And that really helps with your um, intestines and with if you have a lot of phlegm. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. So... And uh, like I said, all these, all the elements are connected, right? So if your metal element is really stressed, it affects the other elements too. So you could experience um, like some emotional problems. So grief is the emotion of the metal element, right? So now's the time to think about like, oh, it's getting darker, Oh, like we live in Florida, so we're lucky because I have this problem. This is why I have to live in the South. As soon as the days get shorter, I get completely depressed. I have sads. Well, you know, one of the things I haven't gotten used to yet, this is going to be our second full winter in Florida. And mm -hmm. I haven't gotten used to the uh, not dreading uh, winter coming because yeah. you know, we lived in Massachusetts for, right. for a while and you know you dreaded winter coming when the days got shorter and September October rolled around you just knew winter was coming right so you kind of dreaded that and Jennifer keeps reminding me as I go into my winter dread mode she keeps reminding me that hey look down here we like winter winter is our season right, right, <laughs> so right. <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I have but, to get that through my mind yet I know and and it is it's, it's very um I mean, I think that's really why I I love Florida so much because I, I am really affected by the length of day. And you have to realize that some animals also are. So if you have an animal, like a, say you have a mare that's really, it's, she really has a hard time going through her transitional time with her cycling. You know, like that could be a mare that really does have sads or the dogs like, Oh, the dog just doesn't want to do anything. Lays around sad or they're nervous about something or they're stressed or they're more afraid when you go. 
away, like have more uh, separation anxiety. That's something that can be treated and you can treat that with herbs or acupuncture or, or, you know, behavior management. But as long as you acknowledge that, and uh, sometimes it even helps just to, I mean, with people, at least it helps just that you acknowledge that that's a real disease. Right. You know, and so you're with your dog, if you just, even if you just acknowledge, okay, they're afraid of thunderstorms and I'm going to spend extra time with you when it's thundering. It makes a big difference. Or buy a thunder shirt. Buy a thunder shirt. Which really worked for our dog. Yeah. (laughs) But that makes them know that like that you actually take the time to put the thunder shirt on. Yeah. Or for the horses. And when, if they're starting to get really like upset about the transition Okay, don't push them that day. Do something else. Go for a trail ride. You know, because that's really important about Chinese medicine too. It's not just the body, but the body and the mind and the spirit are all interconnected. Makes a lot of sense. Yep. Very good. Well, Dr. Wendy, where can people see some of the past posts that you have put up about this kind of stuff? You can see that at um, drwendyying.com and you click on my blog and it'll have some information about the change of the seasons and some uh, food recommendations of what to do. And uh, it's always best to start with food, food changes, especially like transitional seasonal times. Like we're right in the time where you could change a little bit of your diet and maybe you won't experience any of these um, uh, pathologies if you're lucky. Uh, you and I started too late, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but but so that's always the best way to do it is start. I was with on an airplane. That's where mine came from. I know. Yeah, uh, yours came from little kids. So uh, yeah, uh, I you know that's why we, we we both elected not to be parents is because we didn't want to be sick half the year uh, every time a kid came over from school. I know. Uh, yeah, but uh, anyway. Well, not just that. We would lose them. That's true. Yeah, we, we would be in jails. Where we... <laughs> <laughs> I would leave mine on the top of the car. I, <laughs> that's true. Are you one of those people that leaves them on the top that's of the car true. and their baby seat and I'm texting and driving and don't notice that the baby's on top there? I would totally leave them in the cart at Walmart. And, you know, <laughs> I'd be walking out and going, what did I forget? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Wendy. Appreciate that. Uh, I want to remind everybody to get the app uh, in the App Store for the Horse Radio Network. Just go to horseradionetwork.com or just go to the App Store, iOS or Android on your phone and search for Horse Radio Network. Download it. You can listen to all the shows there, including the Driving Radio Show. It makes it very simple and easy to listen to. We've had thousands of people doing that. And there you have it. You can find links to today's experts as well as lots more tips at horsetipdaily.com. This podcast was made possible through the generous support of Uncle Jimmy's and listeners like you. This is Coach Jen, and I'll be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. (laughs) 